Hello friends, welcome to the fifth lecture of Microbiology Lecture Series from Shomu's Biology. And in this fifth lecture, we are going to talk about the bacteria classification scheme. Particularly, we want to talk about the different types of bacteria, gram-positive bacteria, gram-negative bacteria. And we also want to talk about the Burgess Manual. And the Burgess Manual composed of all the different classification of microorganisms in details. So stay tuned and watch this lecture. Now the classification system that is present for prokaryotes are based on many things and particularly we, we give a more weightage to the morphological features what we can see under the microscope in case of prokaryotic classification. So microscopic morphology which we discussed till now that means the shape, the size, the structure matters a lot. Apart from that the microscopic morphology means the colony appearance means not only how exactly we can see the individual bacteria inside the microscope but also how their colony looks like how their colony looks like in the petri plate in the agar plate that's also very very important because if you look at the colony some colony found to be white some colony off white some colony yellowish green red many different colors colors of the colony the size of the colony the distribution pattern of the colony, the texture of the colony, the appearance in all together of the colony also carries a weightage of identifying an unknown bacteria. Because specific bacterial colony has its unique mode of appearance. While bacterial physiology, that means the presence of products that are the result of bacterial metabolism and physiological activities are also very important which we can easily understand again by looking at uh, the bacteria under a microscope in a certain environmental conditions okay so how, how we can check the physiology of the bacteria what kind of change in the structure is there in the bacteria by putting it into the changing environment and we see how this bacteria respond in terms of modifying its physiological structures to fit into that environment and then there are serological analysis Basically, antibody binding properties uh, are tested. So antibody is, we know, is a large protein molecule that is specific to be attached with the antigen. That's maybe a surface protein of a bacteria, surface component of a bacteria. And this antigen antibody reaction is interaction is so specific that they are going to give us important information about how exactly this antibody binds to the antigen and whether which antibody binds to the antigen is going to tell us about the antigenic bacteria, about the bacteria that we are talking about. And lastly, the genetic and molecular analysis identification based on the presence of genetic materials of molecules you know uh, this is the last thing you know and also biochemical properties are tested which is also uh, not written here but biochemical properties plays a very very important role in even identifying an, a bacteria with the help of the tests that we commonly use uh, you know staining process we commonly use then uh, all the biochemical tests like imvil te imvic tests okay if you're from microbiology background, you already know about the test and you probably have done that in your practicals. So, but finally we have this genetic and molecular analysis. Means finding a particular marker, a molecular marker, and uh, from there get to know about uh, the, the, the strain of the bacteria. And generally we, we currently use 16S RNA, 16S RRNA sequencing we sequence 16 is RNA and that's going to give us important information regarding the signature signature G DNA structures which is going to help us understanding which bacterial species we are dealing with bacterial taxonomy based on Burgess manual now this term Burgess manual I told you in the earlier class that this microbial classification is, is very different than the classification of animals and plants or eukaryotic classification and the species concept of prokaryotes are also different than the species concept in eco eukaryotes so Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology it has a five volume resource covering all known prokaryotes that is available till now so it's kind of you can say is a is a database kept in a library to find out one particular bacterial species and to know about all known parameters and all known facts about that particular species and it keeps on updating almost 
every single day basis classification is based on genetic information the confirmed classification can only be based on the final genetic information we can we can check its morphology its appearance uh, the colony appearance the biochemical assays staining and everything but the final to 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 report a new species to report a very important property a fixed confirmed property we obviously need to rely on the genetic information so phylogenetic analysis is only been made as a result of uh, the genetic sequencing and generally uh, the prokaryotes are distributed into two different domains archaea and bacteria five major subgroups with 25 different phyla are present in uh, this Burgess manual it's it's written in the Burgess manual now the Burgess classification scheme is listed here uh, where we can see the domain archaea the domain bacteria and uh, you can see that this in domain archaea there are these different uh, segments where we put them together so domain archaea is listed into class 7 till class 7 for domain bacteria it's even more than that and also this is all about volume 1 where we just put domain uh, archaea and bacteria 1a and 1b then in the volume 2 we have proteobacteria separately listed in volume 3 we have those bacteria which are gram positive and have very low gc content and in volume 4 we only have gram positive bacteria with a high gc content and in the volume 5 we have all the other uh, misfits which cannot be placed in volume 1 to 4 we put them in volume 5 where we put the spirochetes okay fibrobacters and bacteroids okay as well as uh, fusobacteria planktomycetes all those different species we put them in the volume 5 and you know uh, we generally put this different bacterial listing in different volumes based on one property and which I just listed okay so the volume 1 is archaea and, and, and the deeply branching phototropic bacteria are listed so let's say you are working with an unknown bacteria you just need to check whether the properties of this bacteria match with anyone which is reported in the Burgess manual or not uh, so you know that your bacteria is gram positive you know your bacteria has a low GC content so you directly take volume 3 which carries only information about those bacteria which have this low GC content with gram positive feature so that's why we put in volume so that we can pick only the volume carrying that particular property of bacterium not everything okay because if you put all the bacterium in the same volume of the book it will be very difficult for us to even go through them and separate them and find out a correct one so that's why we we place them like this now this Burgess manual is maintained both you know second edition is running right now and it's there this is uh, this table is given based on the second edition right now new editions are there and it's also being kept online so that you can just check uh, if new bacteria is there based on their like their appearance their colony structure their shape sizes chemical properties metabolic properties and uh, pathogenic properties and many more now the final things that I need to talk about the bacteria because we, we have been talking about their structure the internal cellular structure extracellular structures and how they appear now there are diagnostic schemes that are present for the medical use the use of phenotypic qualities in case of identification they are restricted to bacterial disease events and divides bacteria based on all wall structures shape arrangement and physiological traits so generally uh, very commonly when we try to identify a bacteria we, 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 we in the very first scale we just measure it based on its appearance its morph morphology its shape structure and arrangement because we don't get access to the serological taste from the day one so but, but the bacterial infection spreads very fast so doctor needs to take a decision based on the microscopic evidences and they just start the treatment and then sooner if we need a confirmed result to provide a specific antibody against it and, and a medication specifically designed against it so we need to check it serologically then now what about the species and subspecies distribution in bacteria as I said the bacterial species is nowhere near uh, the species concept of eukaryotes species in bacteria is a collection of bacterial cells which share an overall similar pattern of traits in contrast to other bacteria whose pattern differs significantly that's all about the species for bacteria 
and the strain or variety a culture derived from a single parent that differs in structure or metabolism from one culture other cultures of that species only so think about strain is one variety of a species so species is species is the biggest here it it, it is the big one and then we break species we get strain or variety so a culture which is derived from a single parent but they are different in terms of their metabolism and structure a little bit but they are from that same species that are present earlier so strain is a breakdown portion of a species or variety uh, okay and then if you break variety we get type type is a subspecies that can show differences in antigenic makeup and susceptibility to bacterial viruses so a type as i said even a further smaller version of of variety or or a strain a subspecies that can show differences in antigenic makeup means serotype okay so the different in the antigenic makeup although they are of the same variety they are morphologically same their cultures morphologically are same metabolism is same but the type of antigen that is found on the surface of those uh, of those two bacterial uh, type are a little different and the susceptibility to their the phage virus that they attack them are also different we call them phage type or phage typing means you know there are certain bacteria attacked by certain bacteriophage viruses now let's say virus bacteriophage virus x infects a uh, bacteria e coli for example now this bacteriophage x is not going to affect salmonella so if you take this two uh, type we know that even even let's say even e coli two different type and these types are written with numbers strain numbers and the strain number and even on inside there there are type so we can say that even the same strain of e coli may have different susceptibility to different phage viruses so the type is based on uh, their genetic uh, i mean their antigenic makeup as well as the susceptibility to bacteriophage viruses and in pathogenicity type that means two different type of a same strain of e coli may end up in different pathogenic impact in our body that's why if you check e coli some of them are very good some of them can cause us meningitis some of them can cause us uh, you know diarrhea some of them causes causes uh, other tissue damages and many other diseases altogether so this same species e coli even same strain but different type have different pathogenicity in our body so that's why the hierarchy goes like species strain and type okay species is the biggest then strain or variety and then the least one is the type the unique most one are the type and there is no further division after type because no two types are similar so that's all about the burgess manual in uh, the easy way the simpler way if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to this channel so that you continue to receive all the notification regarding the microbiology video lectures and definitely share this video with all uh, your friends in the social media platforms thank you